the sauce thing, can you call that? You can. Is it like, here's the thing, what constitutes a hold? Like, there's always grab, pokey, there's uh, every single play that's happening, right? It's a hold. If he pulled the guy, if he pulled, because his hand went around to the guy's left shoulder, right? His right arm went around to his left shoulder. If he pulls the jersey and it redirects him, if it pulls, if he, even if it doesn't knock him off course, but it pulls his body, it's a different story, right? That's one mm -hmm. thing. But even with that, it could be called the fact that they waited until Michael Carter intercepted the ball to throw the flag removes any credence I would give to the actual call. They would have called it, dude. He would have saw it and called it. They were completely gone. They were out of formation. There was nothing going on. There was no more contact. Michael Carter catches the ball. Then he throws the flag. That's some serious BS, man. And we saw that last year with the JFM push on Mac Jones. They didn't throw the flag. Once Michael Carter II was streaking toward the end zone, they threw the flag. And that shows that they're waiting to see how much impact it has. Now, I'm a firm believer, right? Penalties happen every single play. Holding on the offensive line is going on every single play. I don't really give a shit, to be honest with you, because it happens every play, right? So if you're running left and the right tackles, holding his guy a little bit, it is what it is. He's out of the play nine times out of ten. It doesn't matter. It's when it directly impacts the play, right? So the play can't happen without the hold. It needs to be called. The Jermaine Johnson hold was worse than I, – I don't recall a more egregious hold in a pivotal situation which allowed the game to change. If they call that, it's I, I believe it was third and 22. Maybe I'm wrong, right? On, on the specifics. It could be muddy. But that brings it back to third and 30 and change. Dude, they're not getting that. I mean, can they? The Jets have done worse, right? So we've seen it. But it's unlikely with our defense that they're going to get that. And that effectively nullifies that drive. And it's late in the game. And we get the ball back. And there's a big momentum shift and all that sort of stuff. They didn't do it. Then on the same drive is the sauce pick thing. Dude, they were controlling the game and that is some serious bullshit so when you look at the sauce thing just like you said if they're calling it sauce even said dude we've been playing like that all night like that's how we were playing the game it was a it was a physical game and they didn't call it all game i didn't pull them i didn't drag them down i didn't knock them off course none of that sort of stuff it's just a little bump and run kind of stuff and they decide to call it specifically because we got the interception. It is clear. Nobody can change my mind. And I didn't like it. And that's why I think uh, my answer is a big fat no, that it wasn't a hold. Uh, now, illegal contact, some stuff like, I mean, there's, again, depends on how the game is being called. But you don't do that unless you... You don't do that in pivotal situations unless you have a desired result for the game. It was clear on that drive. They did not want the Taylor Swifties to come into that game, spend all that money, and leave like, oh, I'm never doing that again. They wanted them to leave like, that was great, and we're happy because Taylor's happy because her boyfriend won. That's what was really going on, and it bothers <laughs> the living shit out of me.